All right, welcome back to Twin Cities Outdoors, folks. Behind me is the Art Shanty Festival here, right on Lake Harriet. Won't be doing any fishing today, just gonna show you some cool artwork. Hands coming together on this one. Looks like they're still building, but that's, looks like a multi-story home. Oh, and here's a yurt. It's like a long-term tent, cylindrical. on in here who knows you can see these are actually registered ice houses despite most of them not being used for fishing they're just for show So it turns out this yurt is the archive of apologies and pardons. Locked up. Everybody's gone for the day, it looks like, but people are dropping their notes through the door. Now this is cool. Nice throwback trailer. The shanty of people who know things. Like they got propane fixed to it and everything. Doesn't really look like much going on in there. Looks like a big mirror in there. funky one right there colorful set up with some plastic wrap now obviously some of these would be great for ice fishing now this is one we can all appreciate the minasana oh look at that there's people in there enjoying it awesome <laughs> they got their wood They must be feeding it in to burn somewhere. The Minnesota. Awesome. Maybe we can get a peek inside. old port entrance. They even got it fixed with the paddle. Cool, they got some old posters from the area. Here's a look at Lake Harriet back in the day. Look at all those canoes and boats. Then up here you can see where the trolley car ran, just up the hill from the lake. Pretty cool. All sorts of pictures from history. State Fair stand almost. Oh, 
All right, that's going to be all from Art Shanty Festival here on Lake Harriet. Thanks for checking it out. I know it's a little bit different from the usual content I create on Twin Cities Outdoors, but it's good. You got to come out here and celebrate all the opportunities that the area has to offer, and not just uh, the fishing. So, hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next episode, folks.